Hello and welcome to episode 4 of me making the worst game ever, but it doesn't matter because I'm learning stuff along the way. Today we are creating a boss battle because I thought it would make the game a lot more fun. Okay, before we actually start on the boss, there's something I need to address, because apparently you really didn't like the way I designed the level in the last devlog and begged me to use tile maps instead. So here you go, six different tile maps for the ground, detailed ground, small ground, detailed small ground, grass and spikes. And to see if these actually look good, I made this small level, and I think we can confirm that they do indeed look good. Now to the good stuff, the boss battle. First we need an actual boss to fight, and this is that boss, a dark ominous creature called the Stalker. And besides having a really awesome name, he also has a ridiculously long cape, like a really long cape. And he isn't a small guy either, if you look at him compared to the player, he is freaking huge. But that's enough about the boss itself, we're going to move on to the arena that the fight takes place in, which isn't really an arena at all, it's just a very easy level, leading to a drop where the boss awaits. But this is actually on purpose, because we want the player to almost be scared of the boss before even seeing him. So we're going to use this space before the actual fight to show how dangerous he is. Quick warning, if you don't like blood, even if it's in pixel art form, don't watch this next part. So I made three drawings, which are possibly the most horrifying things I have ever drawn for a game. We have a skull with a knife in it, another skull but on a spike, and a dead body lying on a rock with two arrows in it. So they may be a bit gruesome, but at least they do a very good job at showing how terrifying the stalker really is. Alright, so we now have the boss and the area leading up to the boss. I think it's time to start working on the battle. But first, dialogue. Right now, whenever you approach the boss, you just kind of stare at each other. Which is fun and all, but no boss fight is complete without a good pre-fight dialogue. Or, since our player doesn't talk, a pre-fight monologue. So when the player comes close enough to the player, we stop all movements, do a cool review of the boss, and have them talk to the player. And after that, the boss battle starts. And my idea for this is to have giant swords fall from the sky. Because it's easy, and I don't have to animate the stalker attacking. However, this means we need to get rid of the boss, because I think it would be strange to just have him standing there, watching you get killed. So I'm left with two options. I could animate them walking away, with their cape flying behind them looking awesome, or, and listen to me now, I could slightly move the camera to the left and make them disappear off screen. Obviously, I went with the second option and started designing the sword that would be raining above the player, which turned out really good. Now we just have to make it fall from the sky, somewhere above the player, and everything is working perfectly. No problems at all. Okay, so after fixing the bug that caused a thousand swords to appear in the sky, and adding a slight camera shake when they land, the boss battle is done, and it is horrible. Just the absolute worst. I hate it. Thank you for watching. Make sure to write a comment saying banana to show YouTube how much you like bendy yellow fruits, and don't forget to like and subscribe.